Hi everyone, this is James Shore, and today I want to try a little experiment. What it's actually like to do test-driven development. There's a lot of material online about test-driven development. There's, you know, everybody's heard about red-green refactor by now. But even with all of that, I found that in a lot of cases, when I go do test-driven development with people, they don't really get the flow of it. So that's what this is. Uh, I'm going to take a real project. I'm going to develop it over the course of some number of episodes. I'm going to try to make this as real as possible. So we're starting here with a completely blank screen. Uh, I'm going to be using it Java for this. Uh, I like the editor and it's just convenient. And what I want to do is, is I have a spreadsheet that I use to sort of do long-term prediction for all of my finances. And I know this is sort of a boring or <laughs> run-of-the-mill type of thing, but uh, I wanted to pick something real, and this is actually something I need. I actually don't know where this is going to go. I, other than that basic idea, uh, I figure we'll sort of figure it out as we go. That's how I pro approach a lot of my projects. So starting out, um, well, let's make a test. That's uh, always the first thing. Okay. Um, whenever I start a new project, I usually do this, which is just test nothing and make sure the test can fail um, for all the reasons that you're seeing here, which is that there's always all this setup you have to do when you first start something out. So let's run that. Oh, it fails. Okay, so now let's make it pass. All right, great. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so, what do we want to test? I think the first thing I'd like to do is just make a, um, a little class that can track a savings account. A savings account is going to have interest, it's going to have taxes, it's going to have uh, things uh, deposited into it, withdrawn from it. This is sort of a really basic idea, uh, but it's a good place to start. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so to do that, we're going to rename this. Let's call that, let's just call it a savings account. We'll rename this to savings account test. And um, let's see, we want to put into this, well, let's just start by uh, depositing and withdrawing. I'm not exactly sure how I want this to work out. Uh, account, account, equals new savings account. We go in S there. We'll need one of these classes. Savings account. Okay. Um, that, of course, should work. Uh, if we deposit $100 into there, uh, we should assert that the balance is equal to 100. Let's do that. So really simple to start with. Um, I've got a bit of a primitive session forming here already in that I've got this integer in here and I don't really want that. Um, note that I'm not using the getter form. That's just a personal quirk of mine. don't really like it. Um, okay, so there we go. Failing test. We expected $100 but was zero. We really need to turn this into an actual currency at some point. Um, and right, so now let's, um, let's make an int for the balance, start at zero. Uh, balance is going to plus equal amount and return balance there. That should work. Yes, it does. So that's our deposit test. Um, and you know what? For convenience, Let's put the withdrawal in here too. So this is going to be after deposit, expected 100, but was whatever, and then we'll withdraw 50. And assert after withdrawal, we expect 50, but was something. Nice and simple. Uh, create that. This amount that should fail it does balance minus equals amount. So I'm not going to fix that primitive obsession just yet. It's definitely out there, but um, I don't think I want to go after it 
just yet. I'd like to wait and see uh, what, what the code shows me in terms of what it needs. Primitive session, of course, is using an integer here instead of an actual object that uh, references the concept in question. All right, uh, what do we want to do about negative uh, amounts? I think void negative balance is just fine. So we'll create a new savings account. What's a new savings account? We might want to factor that out. Uh, account dot withdraw. 75 assert uh, equals minus 75 account dot balance. I'm not sure, sir, about this native thing, but uh, it's going to be fine for now. Okay, so that is the beginnings of a test. You've gotten to see me fumble around with Eclipse a little bit. You've got to see the beginnings of some tests. Um, I think that's probably a good spot to stop for now. Uh, we'll pick up again next time with something uh, a little more interesting, I think. But this, this shows the basics. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.